Hello and welcome back. So today we're looking at the brand new Kill Team starter set. And there's been a lot said about this box. Um, most of it good, I think. I know there's a little bit of a grumble from people who already own the models who are worried about, you know, they want the starter set, but they don't particularly want to buy the new models. And I totally get that. What I would say is I'm sure that on eBay there will be loads of these boxes going very soon without any models in them. I'm sure there'll be loads of people that are that are going to get this box just to get those models. So if you already own them, I imagine that you'll be able to pick up this box minus the models pretty cheap, pretty soon. But we're going to go through this. So this is going to be a kind of bit of a duel. So there'll be a basic unboxing and then I'll be giving you my thoughts on it. I kind of pre-review more than anything because I have got stuff to say on this, which is quite important. Um, and it's to do with the Death Guard more than anything else. Uh, so we already know that the Angels of Death is a very competitive kill team already. But we don't know about the Death Guard. And the two things that we don't know is, number one, if it's going to be a full kill team at all. Number two, if it's going to be any good. We will go through all of the various paperwork and that kind of thing in the box. But we won't get the full rules for this. The full rules for Angels of Death and the Death Guard are not in this box. Angels of Death, you can get them online at the Walk-On website. Death Guard is not on there yet. We're not actually sure if, it, if the full kill team rules will ever be available for it. But I am, I'm almost certain it will do in the, next, in the next week or so. So, there's plenty in this box. It must be said. We get, obviously, our seven... Death Guard and our seven Space Marines, the Angels of Death. We get them exactly in the same way as they were presented in their individual boxes when they were released as Space Marine Heroes a, a, a few years ago. So, for example, let's have a look. Uh, the Space Marines Sprue, updated 2023. The Death Guard Sprues are dated. 2019 but we basically get our seven models what we'll do we'll have a look at the models at the end mainly because they are we've seen all these before and um, they're old models or older or not old models but they're not brand new and um, so maybe less interesting to look at up front but we will definitely go back and have a look at the end uh, you see there's a little piece come off the sprue already Okay, so first of all, we get a kind of protector, protect our cardboard stuff from the sprues. Uh, but we also get this little board here that we can cut out as little little wound markers, um, which I think is a pretty cool little touch. Those wound markers are double-sided. But yeah, artwork itself is pretty cool, but, but I'm almost certain we've seen the, uh, this artwork before. Next up, this will be the boards. Now, these aren't new boards. We've seen these before. Um, so anyone who got the Indomitus era stuff, you will recognize these boards. Um, so if anyone has got the, like the Vertigus terrain set or the starter set from the Indomitus era edition, is that ninth edition? Yeah, ninth edition. Um, you'll recognize these boards. You'll also remember them if you bought the Battlefield Battlezone Manufactorum board set. So that came out at the beginning of um, of ninth edition. But yeah, it's a cool board, but we've obviously seen it before. We have a rule book, which we'll look at in a second or starter handbook what have we got here it's a basic tokens i think this is the the one that comes with the with the rule book if you buy the rule book separately it comes with a set of to tokens i'm pretty sure this is the same one we have two little booklets one for plague marines and one for angels of death I'll give you a brief look at the Plague Marines because 
no one's really seen those before but we'll go through this in a bit more detail in a minute but these are not full kill team rules this is basic stuff to get us through the starter set we'll have a good look at those in a minute and finally one of the things that lots of people have looking forward to been looking forward to see we've got our kill team starter starter set terrain so this is mdf it's chunky mdf actually so let's have a look Two A and two B. What comes out very nicely. Starts together very nicely. And voila, we have terrain. Um, I have got nothing against the terrain. I own a few bits of MDF terrain from the past. Um, these two pieces are identical. And our scatter stuff. We get another two identical pieces um, and some small scatter stuff. Oh, yeah, so two of the same one. We'll go through all this properly when I do the full review. Um, but yeah, like I say, I've got nothing against the MDF terrain at all. Quite happy with it one other thing rattling in the box and that is just some bog standard white dice 10 of those okay right let's have a closer look at the books but right, we'll start with a starter handbook um welcome to the kill zone this is your first introduction to kill team the game of skirmish combat in the 41st millennium Build and learn about your elite operatives, then put them against each other in a series of scenarios designed to teach you the core aspects of the game. Don't worry if you've never played a miniatures game before. This set will give you, uh, will this, this set will guide you through everything from building your first model to getting to grips with the rules. Turn the page to begin your journey. So straight forward stuff there. So a little bit of scene building. At the Imperium. Oh, and then we're straight into building our models. Yeah, I won't go through this. I might do some separate build videos, probably just some YouTube shorts or that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is in the just printed in the rule book, which I'm a little surprised at, to be honest. Okay, section three, a dark future. This is more law things. Oh, so a little bit about our angels of death kill teams and plague marine kill teams. Right, and then we're straight in. So, what is kill team? A bit about the bases about the individual teams that we get in the book how the kind of stat cards work what apl is the movement what they save on wounds and then all the different weapon profiles so very cool a bit about our tokens our engage orders so whether they are ready or activated the apl plus and minus tokens some rules such as stun change in operatives apl Use these as a reminder. Measuring tools, the conceal orders, objective markers, and initiative marker. So all familiar stuff. Right, introductory scenario. So we're starting with just three models on each team here. It's got the deployment marked out and how to win. discussing uh, shooting attack roles and defense roles for both sides, how you assess the damage, what happens when one is knocked out or wounded, 
exactly the same process for melee and then victory or defeat so yeah this walks us through a kind of a very basic scenario using a limited model count which i like i think it's very cool then we move on to a tutorial for shooting and maybe they should have done that before the scenario this all very much feels like the um the imperium magazine lots and lots of things here are giving me big reminders from familiar stuff okay training scenario scenario one shoot attack sequence suppressing fire so this is even smaller actually this is two versus two let's have a look at that first one introductory scenario so we've got the introductory we've got suppressing fire which is about shooting attack sequence two versus two So very basic stuff there. Then we learn about activating operatives, movement and objectives. Then another scenario about movement, move, move, move. So a three versus four on this one, three, three Space Marine versus four Death Guard. A tutorial for fighting and a scenario to support that okay, so we've got three versus two now three space marine versus two death guard so called no ammo no mercy okay so apl and the action system so this is when we start to get slightly deeper into the rules uh, so what we can spend various apl on repositioning falling back pick up markers, shooting and fighting and placing markers, charging and dash. Okay, cool. The turning point sequence. This has got, it's got, this is actually a lot more fleshed out than I thought it would be. Giving orders, visibility and cover, choosing kill teams. Final mission, eternal struggle. So this is going to incorporate a lot of what we've learn already this is the first one to include some actual drop zones instead of being told where you're going to put things it's laid out our objectives all of our terrain there scoring points for victory points i like it i like it so tutorial weapon rules and additional rules this is specifically for our kill teams. So it covers things like disgustingly resilient, uh, bolted discipline, shock assault. <laughs> Visible representations of the blast rule. Now, honestly, honestly, this is stuff that could appear in the general rule book. Uh, very cool. And then a little bit about, you know, picking up the core box, some data cards. Download Angels of Death and Plague Marine data cards. Hmm. We want those Plague Marine data cards, I guess, because because it, it hasn't actually gone on. Uh, it hasn't actually been released yet. It doesn't come out until Saturday. I'm guessing that they delayed the Plague Marine stuff. So at the time of recording this, um, the Plague Marine stuff isn't available. Then painting miniatures, all the other stuff that you would expect. So a little bit about the other kill teams that are available. So I like that. I do like that. Right, so let's look at the reference sheets. So for Plague Marines, um, in fact, well, let's quickly just have a quick, very brief look at the Angels of Death, um, because all of their rules are available online now. You can go and get them. But you can see what we've got here is a kind of little bit of a stripped down version of their rules. So not 
so many keywords and all that sort of thing it does um but it does go through a little bit more information it has all of their basic stuff apl movement saves and wounds and weapon profiles and that kind of thing but that is about it a little bit about bolter discipline and, and all of these and shock assault um, and then it has other things to spend on but these are just basic things repositioning dashing falling back charge shoot and fight those were all in the book already but yeah you know pretty happy with all of that stuff but we can see from the death guard or sorry sorry the plague marines uh, a little bit more information fleshed out here so they are all apl3 they're all movement of five they all save on a three up and they all have 14 wounds except for the champion who has 15. they all have disgustingly resilient so let's go through how that works in kill team whenever an attack dice inflicts damage on an operative on this operative including as a result of devastating weapon rule roll 1d6 on a five up subtracts one from the damage inflicted to a minimum of two it's, and then uh, blah 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 so they all have that and they also have various other things so for example the plague marine champion And the fighter have shock assault. This operative can can perform two fight actions during its during its activation. The plague caster has plague caster. This operative can perform two shoot actions during its activation, but you cannot select each ranged weapon more than once per activation. So uh, the bombardier. This operative can perform two shoot actions during its activation. Shock Assault we went through. The Heavy Gunner doesn't have any other abilities. The Icon Bearer. For purposes of determining control of markers, treat this operative's APL stat as one higher. So, yeah, if it's determining control of markers, it goes up to APL 4. Unless it's, unless it's injured and that kind of sort of thing. The usual other effects will apply. So that's why it says APL stat as one higher. And then the Plague Marine Warrior has Bolter Discipline, so it can perform two shoot actions during its activation. And then all of the other rules are exactly the same. So, yeah, this is all pretty good, I have to say. I am warming to this more than I thought I would. Um, handbook is cool. It takes you through step by step all the various different scenarios and that kind of thing that are going to help you to learn the game. Um, these are cool in that it gives you all of the stats and that kind of thing, but it would be great to get that stuff um, on the website for the plague uh, for the plague marines. That would be really cool. So last of all, really, let's just have a brief look through the sprues here. Um, I'm not going to be able to work out which one they are, but we can obviously have a look. Okay, so, I mean, if you're not interested in looking at these, then you can just switch off because I'm literally going to go through these and sign off. So if you do switch off now, don't forget to subscribe and all that lovely stuff. And of course, use my Element Games affiliate link because it helps me no end. Um, but yeah, you, you can sign off there because all I'm going to do is show you all of these sprues and then sign off myself.
Right. Special thank you to the cool gang who hung on right to the end. And that's it. It's over. I'll see you for some more awesome Kill Team stuff soon. All the best, guys.